Human-induced climate change from the whole industrial era have accumulated to produce a mutually reinforcing cocktail of famine, extreme weather, war, and disease. Cascading effects of poor land use and primary predator extinction had wiped out 30% of 1850s biodiversity by 2040 and 50% by 2050, and has, since 2065, left the earth without clean water and lacking in food. The earth has already been reduced to 20% of the 2025 population, with the population rapidly dwindling, and the planet is on a trajectory that would end humanity within a few decades, unless a drastic intervention happens, which does not look likely. On the African continent, Industrial development continued throughout the 2030s with massive carbon emissions, fueled by increasingly effective African advocacy boosted by the African Union's presence in the UN Security Council, but also by Chinese and US financing of industrial projects on the continent, without applying international sustainability metrics. The activity has primarily benefited local elites, not the growing population in sub-Saharan Africa, which counted nearly 2.1 billion people already by 2045. Uncontrolled, sudden temperature rise of 2 degrees by 2040 and 3.5 degrees by 2053 and seawater rise caused mass migrations and trillions of insurance damage, triggering a collapse of the disaster and reinsurance markets which cascaded across the financial sector worldwide. A major global drought destroyed 50% of food production starting in 2055, permanently reducing food output by 75% by the end of that decade. The global food production crisis initially led to escalating food prices, which brought on inflation, global recession, then stagflation, and a global depression, followed by financial collapse of most major financial centers, the last few decades before 2075 were not kind to the European continent. Energy shortages, economic collapse, and resource drain. With uncontrolled immigration from neighboring regions, they were called climate migrants. The EU had nearly imploded on its own in the 2050s due to a lack of energy, little available agricultural land, and infighting for climate change subsidies. The Minsky moment in 2055 was a complete collapse of all fossil assets after increasing the carbon price to $500 per metric ton, which backfired and also collapsed renewable shares. After it failed in Africa, the European continent was now the poster child for degrowth, the idea that reduced production and consumption, conserving scarce natural resources, would enable an acceptable level of welfare even though GDP was abandoned as the main instrument to measure economic progress. Two fragments of hope remain. One is a tiny fractional core of about 1,000 scientists who work in small, widely dispersed labs to try to improve the artificial intelligence algorithms and have some hope of helping to optimize the remaining resources on Earth and use synthetic biology to rapidly replenish biodiversity through artificial biosynthesis, gene drives, and strengthening plant resilience. The other is a vibrant and growing community of several million people in Nigeria who have developed a dynamic degrowth community who sustain themselves, stay healthy through resurrected knowledge about indigenous nutrition methods, and even culturally flourish on one hundredth of the average global carbon footprint through decentralized high precision manufacturing and despite the scorching heat. Aside from that, in 2066, there was a nearly complete exodus from equatorial regions, apart from elite conclaves which retained air conditioning using decentralized renewable power from solar energy and highly isolated low energy demand factory production of essential goods. The very notion of political systems as such is at the brink of destruction. Warlords, a mixed bag of governmental and private armies, 
ravage vast territories jockeying for power over what remains. Overall, the driving forces that cause the climate cataclysm are not just related to climate change as such, but to the endless power gains and governance failures due to global resource depletion, causing a downward spiral with no end in sight, despite scattered technology advances.